That's gonna happen. Hey there, everyone, this is Alcow playing uh, uh, SMT, a uh, Super Mario thing. And today we're gonna start at least by playing Chill Out. The name implies that it's gonna be a grand old time. Just a whole bunch of cookie jars, a homeland has held by snail, like Tenzgu Army. Granted, well, if you slide from the start, you're gonna get fried. That's pretty funny. Yeah, so even though it's named Chill Out, like, I reckon this level is, like, on the hard side of things, mostly due to size. Ooh, hi. And, like, an issue with sprites not appearing in parts. But well, let's find out. It's like, you look at the amount of time units up there, and then you realize that, like, a big chunk of the secret exit, like, a big problem is, like, losing time, like, time overing, and it's like, Wow, what's happening in this place, right? Well, I just kicked that guy away. Guess I'm gonna get this one. Dag -a -dum. Yeah, we're gonna start with just getting the normal. And then we'll. Hi, buddy. Whoa, okay. That was all very necessary. I'm glad to be part of the problem. Hey, it's a beep. But I'm already big, and yet you give me a beep? What am I gonna do with that sing? Ridiculous. There's another beep. You can never have more than a beep. 3 BPM is the way to go. So, these bat graphics, like, they're fine, but boy, are they kind of hard to see, actually. They need a bigger body. Uh oh, well, I'm supposed to get a piece which is there. Bring it there. It's one of those levels. So, back then, I didn't have my blowout about uh, item babysitting. That would not happen until the. Super Mario World production let's play. Uh, I didn't really have much of an opinion until then. Uh, there's a bridge there. You can you can make like a marshmallow tree and don't exist. There we go. I can't believe I would go so hard against the system. Here we go. Everyone is money. And I believe that this was my life farm place of choice for a while. You do get a lot of these, like, it's really easy. Look at all these green yays here. Who's going, hey, well, come to Demo Town. Demo? I like books. Nothing to do with this, though, but I'm gonna give you information that you don't care about and that you can't use. Oh boy, truly an epiphany of sorts. Check it out, I'm here now. Where is here? It's a clown. There's a key downstairs if you need it. How do you get out of there? Maybe you make a block. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We're just normal as the Here we go. Here, there's a hill. There's a bill. There's a bill. He goes whoosh. And I'm like, we can fly together now. Look at that. Oh, I thought I was holding something, but I wasn't. What a foolish day to believe in hay. Look at that sweet brown block just there. The music is from New Smurro something. That series. And there's a telephone. Hello! Whoa! Whoa! So it's basically teaching us about uh, item cloning, basically. Using uh, the humble P-Switch as its subject matter. I did not hold on to that springboard somehow. I, I don't know how that happened. Plumbers don't ask for me my name. So up here, there's a cool thing called the silver P. We need that to get down there after we use a normal P. Here we go, and there's a lock and chain. And there's bullets everywhere. Someone printed a very scary skull picture right on the side. Wow. Bop bop you do and here you get a prize. The P is disappearing from my hands before your eyes. Where are even are we that I wish that I could say? So the puzzle is we need to get a P of the blue on that side of the thing. This level's pretty neat. Maybe we'll have time to play it today. I'll edit from that. Look at that also, this level uh, uh, shrinks you, it filters you. One of the levels with item filtering because flying would break the puzzle of the secret exit, I guess. Oh no, not the secret exit. What are we going to do? Put it in your mouth, put it in your mouth. If you want someone to love, I don't know what that means. Look at that guy's 
speed. So listen here, boys and girls, if you have a piece, which that's giant, just giant letter P here, minding no one's business. What? What a rude plant. Well, the idea is that, whoosh, you bring it here, and I mean, you bring it with you. Like, no one questions that. that that's extremely normal, my friend. Everyone understands what's going on. But then you're here again. It's like, hey, my beat came back. Whoa, check it out. I can dance. And then you're here, and it's like, whoa, is, is the old pea still there? That's just weird. And that is key to conquering hungry. Like, why would I not be gathering money again? Like, dude. I think I... How high am I gonna be at? Is Donkey Kong high it? 790... Nah, almost! Hey, I'll take it. So now I'm here, and I got a ropey. What, 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 what about that? Also, I'm introducing in the universe... Like, an extra sprite object? So, can I just get down there and be fine at coming back? Yes, because there's this little edge here. Well, there you go. Whoa, you gotta pee and your nachos. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna try and double grab, yo. This would probably be easier on a flat surface. Maybe, I don't know if it makes a difference. Probably does. The laws of double grabbing are complex and bewildering. That pee always stays, like, it doesn't, like, turn around. Uh, I guess demo like kind of rolls it. You, you don't really want him at the point. Ah, I'm still good. I was just a panic ah, I didn't mean it. Don't take it so seriously. All right, in here we're gonna need that springboard. But first, I'm gonna throw all my junk up there. Wow, if you know what you're doing, this this secret exit isn't that bad at all. But it, it's a, why'd I jump right into that bullet? I did say, if you know what you're doing. If you don't, you are doomed. Alright, well that's fine, because, you know, I can still do that. That lets us destroy this little baby Yoshi, enabling us to uncomfortably get smacked around. Alright, I still got, uh, there we go, we're done, I guess. Yeah, so once you know everything, this, this ain't not bad. I mean, it's still kind of on the long end, but it ain't that bad at all. You know what? Sure. Maybe I'll just do two, two, two exit levels today. Raw horsepower in all caps. We're serious about our motor engines here. Oh my god. So Yoshi, most important feature of any, of any horse is the ability to jump off by pressing the A button midair. That is such a funny sentence. Uh, it's so good. Here we go. So you see, yeah, that's what this level is all about. And then we've got all the Yoshi monsters here. Creating the dichotomy of Yoshters. Dot com. Is this thing supposed to exist here, or am I just supposed to do a long jump and Yoshi jump? Okay. It's called Raw Horsepower, my friend. It's not called Yold Hamburger. Maybe it should, though. It might be an improvement. Alright, here you go. You gotta be ready. B B B. Whoops! I... okay, I... I made a fantabulous mistake here. So I remembered a later part of this thing, and that completely threw me off, and it made me do the wrong thing and act like a fool. Ugh. Uh. Wow, I am just too slow, uh, obviously. But dang it! Well, why do I keep pressing so early? <laughs> oh man, I pressed a button too early. Wow. Okay. Hey, I made it here. Whoa. Okay, again, I'm pressing it way too early, but, like, the graphic was, like, Charlie's clappy arms. I don't think I've ever seen that. Ah. 
Alright, wait. One, two. <laughs> Don't rush. Like, that's the only reason why I kept dying there. Uh, well, you know what? Uh, uh, I can't get around. Okay, there we go. Finally, made it here. Alright, this is the part. Remember when I kind of just timed and tried to jump? Yeah, I was thinking of this part. I forgot that you could clearly see the ledge. And you can just do that and skip that Yoshi jump, like, very easily. Alright, hey, got one of my lives back. And here you gotta, like, tank a hit? Yeah, this part gets weird. Like, a little unfocused. I don't know, doesn't matter. Check it out, I'm going a circle. Yeah, a little bit slower. We are doing this like a coward. Coward style video games. Here we go. Hey, Mr. Plant. Can I find you the that? Should I reset? Maybe? Yay. By destroying our sense of vision, we have destroyed the reality of cool locations somehow. Whoa, jeez. Oh, and that's that kind of platforms, too. Like, it's, it's, it's gonna be dangerous here. Uh, yeah, this place. No, I probably want to be this way, because then you pop, then I pop, then I blop, and then we stop, and then we're here now. Green grass on the vinegar stains. Get more one-ups, get my lives back. Hey, here we go. <laughs> yeah, the beginning, man. And I'm gonna have to do the beginning again, because the secret exit is post midpoint. So, but I mean, no, yeah, I mean, hey, what can I say, man? I haven't been doing precise Yoshi jumping in a sick while. See, I didn't want to get more lives than I needed, so I got a total of 98. I don't want to get, you know, I didn't want to get more than, than five lives, because then it just starts to be awkward. Like, you get more lives than a number you actually are supposed to have. Like, I just think that's bad manners. Maybe that's just me. Wow. Really? Ah, oh, once again... I mean, at least I get a life back, but... Yeah, under that guy. I knew it was underneath, like, some kind of bug. So I remember this costing me a gazillion lives back then. Horse juggling is a valuable skill in any society where you have to use a shell to power out a bigger, bigger horse to get a secret exit. So remember that these are permanent, these respawn. So, yeah, so the whole thing here is you need to carry this guy over here. And doing this back then was like the most impossible task in the world, apparently. Uh, so I'm going to keep you here, because you don't want to use that to kick up and hit that, because then you, you lose your Yoshi, like, it's going to be stuck, right? You don't want that to happen. But this feels super uncomfortable, by the way. I don't know why. Alright, now we bring the shell. So you gotta, basically, you do that twice. It's like a, a fluke check, you know? Make sure it's not a fluke. You gotta make it do it twice. I understand the logic. But yeah, I don't know why, but... This was just absolutely impossible for a 2010 old me. Now, it is merely a little bit annoying, but, I mean, I did Yoshi on the first try. So, of course, it's the shell that's not gonna work out. Like, that's always how it, how it does, right? Eh. Eh. Dang it. Uh. I was not aware I threw it that way. Well, that's... Dude, cow cow, please. Hey, look at that. No! <laughs> Alright, whatever, it'll respawn. It's fine. Oh, alright, so, aim carefully, take your time, it's pointless to rush if it just makes you start over. Here, we hit that leak, and here we go, it's the magical world of screaming! 
If you can't make something work in a universe, just scream really loudly, and things will work out just because people don't want to hear you anymore. <laughs> that little was bright hell back in the day. So at least I improved this. Look at the way, look at that and Demo's legs dancing around on the map. Just that extreme foreshortening on her legs using like four pixels. It's pretty impressive.